Welcome everyone to Fat Free Marketing Tip of the Day, Episode 7, in which we finally delve into the mystery, how do I edit a title tag? If you have any questions at the end of this episode, please tweet them using the hashtag AskPortent. That's P-O-R-T-E-N-T. This month, we're talking about SEO, that's search engine optimization. If you're not sure what that is or you have other questions, please take a look at the previous episodes in this series. So like I said, today we answer the question, how do I edit a title tag? This is not the easiest thing in the world if you've never worked on a website. So I'm going to step through three options. Take a look at them. Just don't let any of them intimidate you if you've never worked on a website. Here's the thing to remember. A website is just a bunch of text files. And if you can edit them, you can change the title tag. So the first way to do this is using a text editor. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to first give you a quick look at the web page. So this is the page, Harrison's Helmets. You know it up here title tag right now is bicycle helmets like no other Harrison's helmets maybe I want to change that to Ian's helmets because I've staged a hostile takeover of my son's helmet making company stranger things have happened so I go over here to sublime text which is my favorite text editor on the Mac and I'm just gonna open the file I want to edit and there's my title tag Do you see it right there if I edit that I'm going to make it Ian's Helmets, save the file, go back to the site and refresh it. Look at that. It's changed to Ian's Helmets. So you see how that works? See how easy it is? All I did was edit a text file. So now maybe my son gets really angry when he finds out and he threatens to take away my retirement funds, so I just go in and change it back. And now watch. Refresh the page. And there it is. It's Harrison's Helmets again. It's that easy. However, there is one small complication, which is you have to get the files down from and up to the website. There are a number of ways to do that. Uh, you're looking at a program right now that does it using a protocol called FTP. It's not as horrible and difficult and hideous as it sounds, but it does take a little time to set up. So if you're running your own website, I do suggest that you learn how to do this. Uh, and learn how to transfer the files. Your web hosting company can probably walk you through it or walk through whatever program it is that they're using uh, and that way you can start doing this again. These are just text files. Now you might have a website powered by something called a content management system or CMS. If your site is powered by a CMS you don't even have to go in and edit those text files. All you do is log in to the CMS and start typing your title tag into whatever field there is that's called title or headline or whatever else and that will update the title tag on the page. I can't show you that here because there's some security issues with me showing you the login and back-end pages for some website we own. Uh, maybe someday I'll be less lazy and I'll actually make a site for this series but for now just take a look at this. This is how it will probably look in whatever program you are using as your CMS. It is very likely that if someone else has built your site for you and you're at a company larger than one person, that you're using some kind of CMS. So you can ask your webmaster or ask your web hosting company or ask whoever built it. They can give you a login. You can go into the CMS and you can see how you edit these things. The third option is to just ask. You may have a webmaster or an IT team or someone you hired to build the site. If you want your title tag changed, you can just go ask them. I suggest that you do something really nice for them, like getting some lemonade for them or buying them a cool car with big fins. In fact, what I'm saying is you need to ask nicely because chances are whoever you're going to to ask them to edit the title tag has a lot of other stuff going on. So lemonade, cars, just my suggestion. That's it. Next time we're going to talk about what keywords are these days. What does it really mean because keywords aren't what they used to be. In the meantime, if you got any questions, tweet the hashtag AskPortent. That's P-O-R-T-E-N-T. -E Please subscribe because it makes us all feel really good here at Portent. This is a Portent thing. You can find us at www.portent.com, and I'm your narrator, Ian Lurie, and you can find me on Twitter at PortentInt. Thanks a lot, and I'll talk to you next time.